Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you select a picture, the Picture Tools Contextual tab appears in the ribbon with the Format tab displayed. This tab contains functions that you can use to quickly and easily format pictures. You can click the Pictures button in the Insert button group in order to open up the Insert Pictures window. You can then use this window to insert pictures from a file on your computer or from various online resources. The buttons in the Adjust button group allow you to make image adjustments to a selected picture. If using Publisher 2013, you can click the Corrections button to select from the preset adjustment options shown in the drop-down menu. You can also select the Picture Corrections option button in order to open up the Format Picture dialog box. If using Publisher 2010, you can click the Brightness and Contrast buttons to choose Brightness and Contrast settings. In Publisher 2013 and 2010, you can click the Recolor drop-down button to select from one of the many preset coloring tints. You can also roll your mouse over the More Variations command to select a coloring choice from the palette of colors that appears. You can click the Compress Pictures button to open up the Compress Pictures dialog box, where you can check the check boxes and select the desired option buttons to set your desired compression options. Once you have the settings you desire, you can click the Compress button to compress the pictures you choose. You can select the Change Picture button to either remove or change the selected picture. You can also click the Reset Picture button to reset any changes you have made to a picture if you do not like them. If you have two pictures in your publication selected, you can swap the images in the page so that they will trade location and formatting. To do this, select the two pictures to swap using the Shift key and then click the Swap button in the Swap button group. To swap the formatting between the pictures without swapping their locations, click the drop down below the Swap button and then select the Swap formatting only. The next group on the Format tab is the Picture Styles button group. You can click on any picture style shown in this area to apply it to the selected picture. To add a picture border, you can click the Picture Border drop down button and then click the color of the border you want to use. Just as when formatting shapes, you can also select the More Outline Colors or Sample Line Color from the drop-down menu to apply a custom color or to use a sampled color from the page. To quickly change the thickness of the picture border or add a dashed border versus a solid border, you can use this drop-down as well. If you roll your mouse over the Weight command, you can select a different line thickness from the choices shown. You can roll over the dashes command to select a dashed style to use. You can click the pattern button to open up the fill effects dialog box and show the pattern tab. Here you can select a foreground and background color from the color pickers available. Then click the desired pattern located in the pattern section and then click the OK button to apply the pattern to a border. If using Publisher 2013, you can click the Picture Effects drop-down button to select a type of picture effect, grouped by category, to apply to the selected picture from the drop-down menu that appears. If using Publisher 2010, you can apply a custom picture shape by clicking the Picture Shape drop-down button and then selecting the desired picture shape to use from the listing of available shapes. You can accomplish the same effect in Publisher 2013 by using a picture as a fill effect within a selected shape. You can use the Caption drop-down to display a listing of the various stylistic categories of captions available to apply to your selected image. When you hold your mouse pointer over any caption, it will be shown as a preview on the selected image. You can then just click on the caption style you like to apply it to the picture. If using Publisher 2010, you can click the Shadow Effects drop-down button in the Shadow Effects button group to select a shadow style. You can roll over the Shadow Color command 
to choose a shadow color. You can also click the Nudge Shadow buttons to nudge the shadow in the indicated direction. You can click the Turn Shadow On or Off button to toggle the shadow display on or off. In the Arrange button group, you will find buttons that allow you to change the placement and text wrapping of the selected image in the publication. If using Publisher 2013, you can click the Arrange Thumbnails button to move all selected picture within your publication to the scratch area and arrange them as thumbnail images. You can click the Wrap Text drop-down button, also called Text Wrapping in Publisher 2010, to select from one of the preset text wrapping options. If you have overlapping images in your page, you can click either the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop-down buttons to change the order that the images overlap each other in the stack. You can click the Align button to choose from one of the available alignment options. The Group button is used to group multiple selected objects together as a single unit. You can also use the Ungroup button to separate a grouped object into its individual components again. Finally, you can click the Rotate button to select a rotation option for the selected image in your page. In Publisher 2010, you will find the Crop button in the Size button group. In Publisher 2013, it is located within its own Crop button group. You can use the Crop button to remove unwanted or access parts of an image. Click the Crop button to enable the cropping tool. To use it, click and drag any of the cropping handles that appear around the graphic inward to crop it. If you make a mistake, you can uncrop by dragging the cropping handles back outwards again, or by clicking the Clear Crop button to reset the picture back to its original state. If you are trying to increase the size of the image by using the Crop tool, you can extend the borders when cropping, which enables the Fit, Fill, and Clear Crop buttons to the right of the Crop button. Clicking the Fit button will fit the picture to fit within the cropping border you have created while maintaining its aspect ratio. Clicking the Fill button will fill the selected cropping border while maintaining the aspect ratio. Clicking the Clear Crop will remove cropping from the picture while retaining the previous cropping border. In the Size button group, you can use the spinner arrows at the right end of either the height or width text boxes to increase or decrease the height or width of the selected image. Also notice that if you need to make very specific changes to the size of the image, you can do so through the Size tab within the Format Picture dialog box. To open this dialog box, just click the Size dialog box launcher button in the lower right corner of the button group. On the Size tab of the Format Picture dialog box, you can enter the height and width into the text boxes provided. Notice that if you want to adjust the relational aspect or height to width ratio of the selected image, you would first need to ensure that the lock aspect ratio checkbox is deselected in the scale section. Then you can enter the height and width independently if desired. In addition, you can enter a degree of rotation to apply to the image by using the rotation spinner box. In the scale section, you can enter a percentage into either the height and or width text boxes. The image will then be scaled by the selected percentage. You can also check or uncheck the two available checkboxes in this section as needed when making styles and scale changes. They allow you to lock the aspect ratio and to determine if the ratio used is based on the current image scale or on the scale of the original image. You can also click the Reset button at the bottom of this tab to reset any change made to the size of the image. Once you have finished making your sizing adjustments, click the OK button to close the Format Picture dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.